Hey Top Shelfers, welcome to Behind the Bar. This is a new show that we are coming out just for you guys here on our mailing list. It is a show where we take you guys through historical cocktails that people have every day. So it's a little bit different from the main show and where we're creating cocktails based around historic events. This one we're taking you through some historic cocktails taken throughout the ages and have been enjoyed throughout the ages. So, and this all kind of stems from one particular book and it's this book, Just Cocktails. Now, I came across this book after my grandfather died back in 2011, um, may he rest in peace. And this book was actually copyrighted in 1939. You can see right there by uh, the Three Mountaineers Incorporated. Uh, now, what's really cool about this book is that it's got cocktail information and different recipes from a lot of different areas, uh, from the Epicurean cocktails, which they talk about, which has a lot of herbal liquors like Benedictine and Chartreuse, to the pretty cocktails, which are really colorful, to the favorite sons, which are the local favorites around the time. They even have a section in here called the Gay 90s, and the Gay 90s is actually talking about the 1890s, uh, not the 1990s. So today's first cocktail that we are going to do for you guys is going to be the old fashioned. I think everybody in their life should have an old fashioned at some point. After all, uh, it's one of the drinks I came across as a child watching one of my favorite movies. It's a mad, 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 mad world. For those of you who have watched it, you'll get this joke where I say, what could possibly go wrong with an old fashioned? It's a fantastic movie, check that one out too. But for our drink, we are going to start out with a rocks glass. Now this is what would be known as a rocks glass. There are different shapes for different cocktails and it all kind of depends on what uh, drink you want and exactly what kind of experience you want with the drink. And that also comes from what type of liquor you're using. So for this one, this is a whiskey uh, based drink. Now we're going to use bourbon. So let me grab my Jim Beam down here. Jim Beam is one of my favorite, rather inexpensive bourbons. It's got a lot of flavor, it's very tasty, and it does, it's a good bang for your buck in my opinion. So our recipe here in the book, as I flip into it, is going to be, here we are. One jigger of bourbon, two dashes of Angostura bitters, a half lump of sugar. Now I don't have any lumps of sugar, sadly. Um, I just didn't find them when I went to the store, so we're gonna use simple syrup instead. And uh, two spoons of water, and then stir, and we'll add a lump of ice and a piece of lemon and orange. Now I don't have the lemon or orange, but that's okay because a lot of old fashions are also garnished with cherries. Now you can do Luxardo cherries or mar maraschino cherries, forgive me. Uh, luckily I have both, so it really kind of depends on your preference, personally for me. I like Luxardo cherries. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, jigger, I heard jigger in there, what the heck is that? Well, in the book it actually says that a jigger is one and a half fluid ounces. Now, that was actually changed, as this book was written in 1939, uh, from the previous definition of where it used to be two fluid ounces, but because of prohibition, the measurements changed in most of the official cocktail recipes just to, uh, let's see, what's the word? encourage more temperance, I guess you could say. So let's get to it with our cocktail. Let's open up our bourbon here. There we go. And we will put in one and a half ounces of bourbon. So I got my jig here and I'll just measure out one and a half fluid ounces and put that on in there. Next, it said that we wanted to have two dashes of Angostura bitters. Now I've got the old fashioned Angostura bitters from Fee Brothers. This is a really good brand, but any Angostura bitters will work here. So one, two, a little messy, but that's okay. We're gonna spice it up, look a little nicer here. And then the last thing that it really called for was uh, a little bit of sugar. So we have some simple syrup, we'll pour a little bit of that in to add some sweetness. And then finally, we want to add some water. Now I don't have a splash of water on me, but what I'm gonna do is a different technique that's used with a lot of bartenders is that we're going to take some ice since we're gonna serve this one on the rocks, which means we're going to serve it with ice as opposed to neat without the rocks. Um, and I'm going to stir and this will dilute it a little bit, but it will also allow the bourbon to wake up its flavors uh, from the kinetic energy that's coming in, get those molecules moving and awaken those flavors. Uh, 
and also at the same time, it'll lightly distill the drink, or I'm sorry, not distill, dilute the drink, uh, which will um, lessen the harshness of some of that bourbon. So, but there you have it, the old fashioned. Now the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to garnish with a Luxardo Sherry. Snatch one of these guys up, skewer that like that, and there you have it, the old fashioned. Mmm, delicious. There's a lot of different flavors. You get that smoky woodiness uh, coming from the bourbon as they're aged in oak barrels. Now, uh, the difference between, let's say, bourbon or uh, aged whiskey is just how off, how long it's aged. So, uh, with a lot of bourbons that doesn't have, like, say, an age number on there, they normally are within only a couple years or a few months, depending on who's distilling them. Uh, with this one, it's not aged very long, so the flavors are very bold, and you don't get a lot of smoky notes in there. The Angostura bitters comes through a lot, nice spices going on there, a little bit akin to kind of almost cinnamony, uh, and a few other herbs that are going on, and then uh, the, the water really helps a lot because it kind of uh, dilutes everything, but it also evens it out at the same time. It's a delicious drink. I'm gonna have another sip here. It's a classic, it's beautiful, it's one you should certainly try the old fashioned.